water, and electric meter readings. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to read and interpret water and electric meter readings. Let's begin! Mr. Tan is computing his monthly electrical consumption. Based on his digital electric meter shown below, how many kilowatt hours did Mr. Tan consume this month? To determine Mr. Tan's electric consumption, we should read the present and previous electric meter. But how are we going to read electric meter? Let's find out! Electric meter measures the amount of electricity used, which is measured in kilowatt hours. In an electric meter, you will notice that there are five dials, namely dial A, B, C, D, and E. Inside each is a pointer which indicates the number to be read. The pointers will alternately turn clockwise and counterclockwise. These dials measure the number of kilowatt hours you use in ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. To read the electric meter, first step is to read all dials from right to left, starting from dial E to dial A. Next step is to read the numbers by the pointer of the dial. Take note that when the pointer is between the two numbers, the lower or smaller number will be recorded. For example, let us start from dial E. We can see that the pointer points between 8 and 9. Since 8 is the smaller number, that will be our dial E. Next, in dial D, we can see that the pointer points again between 8 and 9. Therefore, the dial would be 8 since it is the smaller one. Next, in dial C, we can see that the pointer points exactly at 1. We have to take note that if the pointer appears to be exactly on the number, we have to check the dial to its right to find out the correct reading. Here, the dial to the right of dial C is dial D. We also have to take note that if the dial on the right has passed 0, then use the number the pointer is pointing on the dial you are reading. If the dial has not yet passed zero, then make use of the smaller number on the dial you are reading. For example here, the dial to the right of C which is dial D points between 8 and 9. Since it hasn't passed yet zero, it means that instead of recording 1, we are going to record the smaller number on the dial C. The smaller number than 1 is 0. There! Next, let's go to dial B. The pointer is between 2 and 1, so we'll record the smaller number, which is 1. And lastly, we have dial A, where the pointer points again between 1 and 2. Again, we will get a smaller number, so that will be 1 as well. Therefore, the reading of this meter is 11,088 kilowatt hours. Now, let's go back and solve our problem. First thing that we need to do is to read first the present and previous readings of the electric meter. Again, we have to read from right to left or from dial E to dial A. First, let's read dial E. In dial E, the pointer points exactly at 2. Since it does not have dial to its right, that will be already our dial E. Next, dial D. The pointer points between 5 and 6, so we'll get the smaller number, which is 5. Same thing in dial C. Since the pointer appears between the numbers, we'll get 7 since it's smaller. Then in dial B, we can see that the pointer points between 1 and 0, so the smaller number here would be 0. And lastly, we can see in dial A that the pointer points exactly at number 1. Again, if the pointer points exactly at the number, we need to check first the dial to its right 
to determine its correct reading. Here, the dial to the right of dial A is dial B. Since in dial B, the pointer has already passed zero, it means that we will record where the pointer exactly points in the dial we are reading, which is 1. There you go! Next, let's read the previous reading. Again, we have to read from right to left, which is from dial E to dial A. First, let's read dial E. In dial E, the pointer points between 7 and 8, so we will record the smaller one, which is 7. In dial D, the pointer points between 3 and 4, so we are going to record the smaller number, which is 3. In dial C, the pointer points between 5 and 6. Since 5 is the smaller number, that will be our dial C. Next, in dial B, we can see that the pointer points between 0 and 1. And since 0 is smaller than 1, that will be for our dial B. And lastly, for dial A, we can also see that the pointer points exactly at 1. It means that we need to check the dial 2 is right. The dial 2 is right has already passed 0. It means that we are going to record where the pointer exactly points, which is 1. Now, the present electric meter reading is 10,752 kilowatt hours, while the previous reading is 10,537 kilowatt hours. Now, let's recall our problem. The question was, how many kilowatt hours did Mr. Tan consume this month? To determine the electricity consumed, we need to subtract the previous reading from present reading. Let's subtract. Therefore, we have 10,752 minus 10,537. 2 minus 7 is cannot be, so let us borrow 1 from 5. So that will be 4, and 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Therefore, Mr. Tan consumed 215 kilowatt hours of electricity this month. Now, what if the electricity cost 3 pesos per kilowatt hours? How much will he pay? To get the cost, we need to multiply the amount of kilowatt hours consumed by the cost per kilowatt hour. So that will be 215 kilowatt hours times 3. So the electricity bill for the month would be 645 pesos. Awesome! Now let's go and have another example. Based on the water meter shown below, how many cubic meters of water were consumed? This time we need to read for the water meter. But how are we going to do that? Water meter measures the amount of water use, which is measured in cubic meter. Unlike electric meter, water meter has only four dials, which only moves clockwise. Now to read water meter, we will also read from right to left. Let us start with dial D. In dial D, the pointer points between 3 and 4. So we will record the smaller one, which is 3. In dial C, the pointer points between 0 and 9. Since it has not yet passed 0, we will record 9. Next. In dial B, the pointer points between 5 and 4. So we are going to record the smaller number, which is 4. And lastly, in dial A, the pointer points between 0 and 1. Therefore, we are going to record the smaller number, which is 0. Now, unlike the electric meter, wherein we record the number as it is, in water meter, we record the numbers from right to left. It means that the rightmost number, which is 3, will be the first digit. Next will be 9, 4, and 0. 
Therefore, the reading is 3,940 cubic meters. Now, let's go back to our problem. Again, the first step is to read the meters. Let's read first the present reading. Let us start from the rightmost dial. Here, we can see that the pointer points exactly at 4, and since there's no dial to its right, that will be our first digit. Next, it points between 7 and 8, so we'll record the smaller one, which is 7. Next one, the pointer points between 9 and 0. Since the pointer has not yet passed 0, we are going to record 9. And lastly, here we can see that the pointer points between 2 and 3. Since 2 is the smaller number, that will be our last digit. Therefore, the present reading is 4,792 cubic meters. Now, let's read the previous reading. Let us start again from the rightmost dial. Here, we can see that the pointer points exactly at 4. And since there's no dial to its right, that would be already our first digit. Next, here, the pointer points between 7 and 6. And since 6 is a smaller number, that will be our next digit. Next one, again, it points between 7 and 6, so that will be 6 as well. And lastly, the pointer points between 1 and 2. Therefore, we are going to get the smaller number, which is 1. So that is 4,661 cubic meters. There you go. Again, the question is, how many cubic meters of water were consumed? Again, to get the consumption, we will subtract the previous reading from the present reading. So that will be 4,792 cubic meters minus 4,661 cubic meters. And that is 131 cubic meters. Now what if the question is, if the water costs 7 pesos per cubic meter, how much will be the bill for the month? Again, to get the amount to be paid, we will multiply the consumption to the cost per cubic meter. So that will be 131 cubic meters times 7. And that is 917 pesos. Great job! Now let's have another kind of meter problem. Jose's record of their water consumption is as follows. Here we can see that the initial reading was 0114. For January, it's 0256, February, 0459, and March, 0651. Now, let's have our first question. On what month did he use most water? It means that we need to determine the consumption for each month and see what month has the highest amount of consumption. Again, to solve for the consumption, that will be present reading minus previous reading. First, let's get the water consumption for the month of January. The present reading would be the month of January which is 0256 minus the previous reading which is the initial reading which is 0114. If we subtract this, the answer would be 142 cubic meters. Next, let's get the water consumption for the month of February. The present reading would be the month of February, which is 0459, minus the previous reading, which is January. Let us subtract. The difference would be 203 cubic meters. Lastly, let's get the water consumption for the month of March. The present reading would be the month of March, which is 0651 minus the previous month, which is February. Now let us subtract. And the difference would be 192 cubic meters. Now we can see that the February has the highest amount of consumption. Now let's have our second question. How many cubic meters of water did they use for 3 months? It means that we need to get the total consumption for 3 months. So we will just simply add the 3 month consumption. So that will be 142 plus 203 plus 192 is 
537 cubic meters. On to our last question. Solve the average monthly consumption in cubic meters. To get the average consumption, we need to divide the total consumption by the number of months you are solving for. Here, the total consumption is 537 cubic meters divided by 3 months. 537 divided by 3 is 179 cubic meters. And that's the average monthly consumption. Wonderful! Wow! You made it this far, students! Now, here are the things that you learned today.